Hi y'all, this is Nick again, and I'm back with um, another tip. Uh, yes, my painting is actually upside down because I actually sit on the other end of the table, but I have no extra help today with um, the camera and stuff, But so I will do the best I can. Um, my tip today is when you're working on really big canvases, this one's a 90 by 70. Um, I've gotten this much done. You're going to get to a point to where you're going to have the bot have to have the bottom rolled up to loosen as you're going and then um, roll the top up as you're going so you can move it across the table because it doesn't fit on my table. Um, I know a lot of DPers out there uses the styrofoam tube that it comes wrapped in or um, they get a pull noodle and they cut a slice in it and roll it up that way, which that works too. Most of the time it's real cheap, especially if you use the one that comes with um, your diamond painting. Um, however, in my house, I have a three-year-old granddaughter that runs around and steals all my um, styrofoam tubes and then I end up just picking them up and throwing them out and I didn't even think twice about it when I got this one in so um, I have uh, none laying around and I don't have any pull noodles and this is this is definitely not the time of the year that I could find one at a store um, yeah, I probably could buy one off of Amazon, but I don't have Amazon Prime nothing like that. So second best thing um, I brought the question up to my husband He is a very smart man and he's a huge problem solver so he sat and thought about it and uh, This is what he came up with so I figured I would share it with um, everybody out there and it doesn't cost that much and it would be one time thing and um, you'll get forever use out of it basically. Um, Alright, he works at Home Depot so um, any improvement store, the Home Depot, Lowe's, anything like that that sells PVC pipe, he came up with the idea of um, using PVC pipe See if you could see it here and he cut a slit down him from about an inch from the end actually he got a um, co-worker to do it because um, the co-worker actually had a table saw so it was uh, easier and safer that way um, but either or um, he comes in a 10 foot long piece of pipe cost $4 um, and he cut me two that I could use for the length of this one or even a little bit wider bigger one which probably I will need in the future because I do enjoy doing the bigger diamond paintings so and he cut two for the length of these and um, these I'm working on actually a 50 by 50 right now the Eagle one from my pretty neat creative unboxing video and this is actually a good size for the 50 by 50 a little bit wider as well because I have room on the edges so um, I need like three or four hands to do this video so I can't show you how to roll the top but basically anybody that has done the big ones know you know one on the top one on the bottom which you would just actually slide the canvas into the slit and like I said I know it's not gonna work out on camera but then you would roll it. Make sure if um, with the diamonds, you roll them out, outwards, not inwards on top of one another because they will fall 
and or you'll have hanging ones now actually this one I did uh, seal up to about here but I'm waiting on diamonds so I actually had to put it away so this also works for storing if you have a work in progress one that you're waiting for more drills or whatever the case may be that you switch to another one for the time being but um, I'll give you the general idea because I already have the one down on the bottom that has the slit And as you can see, it's all, it's tucked in. I don't have it secured with anything, no tape, no glue, no, you know, nothing like that. And then I just rolled this way. Now, as you can see on this end here, I have like these little, um, um, uh, caps. And, uh, actually the coworker that did it for me and my husband he actually did oops and he went all the way across so he put these caps on and the other reason why on the other ones where he left like an inch that wasn't cut to the side all the way down to the end here I'll show you on this one that he didn't finish cutting all the way to the end there was a reasoning behind that because brainstorming um, my husband thought well if you cut it all the way through it's going to pinch if you put any kind of pressure on it. So leave about an inch at the end, not cut. And also it would secure, secure the roll a little bit better. And then if you want to put the cap on, I have noticed since I did start using these this morning, that the um, pipe won't roll on your table. So it's kind it kind of makes it a stopper. So and then you just would roll from one end and then roll from the other end as you're doing the diamond painting. So I'm hoping this helps somebody. It gives a newer idea, something that will last longer than the styrofoam. Especially if you do do a lot of um, big ones or you have to uh, put one, you know, aside that you're waiting for diamonds or, you know, you got a couple different work in process. And then I can store this until I get the diamonds. Now, like I said, or I think I said, so I want to make sure I let everybody know um, he... It comes in 10 foot. That was $4. The caps are like 70 cents, probably less than a dollar each. You don't have to, but um, I think it actually came, it, it came out better than without um, the caps. So I'll probably get extra caps for the other ones. But at least with the 10 foot one, you can cut it in um, a few different sizes if you do... Um, different sizes but they'll last longer than the styrofoam and i hope this helps somebody like share subscribe uh, and i'll catch you guys later thanks for watching have a good day bye